What is up, everyone? This is Seth with the Landing Page Dudes, and I hope you are having an amazing start to your Monday. Today, I am showing you the entire process for a brand we work with called Nutri. They came to us from scratch. They were just starting fresh. They needed a brand, they needed a logo, they needed 3D packaging, and they also needed a Shopify website. So they came to us because they saw our videos on YouTube, and I'm gonna show you everything from the ideation to the wireframing, to the mid journey, to the 3D rendering, all the way down to the Shopify site and CMS. So beginning with the logo that we fell on, uh, you know, for the inspiration, we wanted to follow Space Goods. We love what they do, we know they're wildly successful, and the customer really liked them. So the gradient you see in this logo is inspired by Space Goods. Now, for the logo, the brand is called Nutri, and we wanted to give it a very modern look, something that you will remember. And as you scroll down, you'll see some of the different concepts, but ultimately this is the logo and this is the color gradient that the customer settled on. So I'll quickly kind of just go down to show you everything from the gradients down the, to the topography, to the lifestyle, just so you have an understanding. And in this image, this was a quick mock-up we made before we even started just to show the customer the type of packaging we wanted to design. Um, the idea with this packaging is we wanted it to be minimal, we wanted it to be sleek, and we wanted the unboxing experience to be very impactful. So now that I'm running through here, let me start with the wireframe. So before we begin a wireframe, we, called something, we create something called a page map. When we're working on a single landing page, opposed to a site map, which represents multiple pages, we create something called the page map. This allows us and the customer to get on the same page in regards to what sections do they want to see on the wireframe. You know, having done this for over a decade, including this step into our process saves us a lot of time. It gets us on the same page as the client and it's much easier for our designers to understand. So before we began the wireframe, we settled on this page map and you can kind of see how it works. And again, sometimes we, we tweak a little, you know, we tweak a little and things may look different, but ultimately it was the announcement bar, the nav bar, the hero, the feature logos, the UGC section, the benefits, and so forth. Once the customer signs off on the page map, we then begin a low fidelity wireframe. And the idea here is we want to lock in the sections. We want to make sure that important details are there, but ultimately it's just a skeleton. So the customer understands the direction, they understand the structure and the sections, and we always get an approval before beginning design. And these two steps not only save us a lot of time, it optimizes the way we work with clients and it makes it easier internally on our design and development team. You know, I would say three, four years ago, we weren't even doing wireframes and page maps and it was always a headache because you would deliver a design and the customer would say, oh, but I want this section, I want that section. So after a lot of error and trial, this is the easiest for us. And as I scroll down, you can kind of see how it looks. It's super simple. We have the hero, the logos, the UGC, the feature section, the how to use, the ingredients, the product box. The customer wanted a landing page, so it's a landing page with the ability to purchase on the product. Now, in order for us to begin the design, we had to use Midjourney to give us inspiration. Because the customer did not take product photography, they were relying on us to create high quality 3D renders. And whenever we begin a project with a client where we're creating 3D renders, we always go to Midjourney for inspiration. This client was using mushrooms as the active ingredient in their coffee. So we went to Midjourney. We used a lot of different prompts and I'll try to share those prompts below. And we were able to come out with all these different concepts as to how we wanted those images to look like. And after creating, I, I would say probably over 20 variations, we finally settled on this type of packaging. Now keep in mind, this is the actual packaging that the customer is moving forward with. Here at the front, you have the front, the, the, <laughs> you have the front packaging, you have the packaging below, which kind of shows you at the back as to how to use it, all the nutritional label. And then you have the box. And I'm gonna put an image right now because it actually got shipped out so you could see what it looks like. Now, for the 3D rendering, you could see we took inspiration and we created our own 3D renders. The idea here was we wanted to really show the ingredients, put them at the forefront of the product. 
transparency, ingredients, making them photorealistic. It builds trust. It makes your brand look more premium. And as you can see here, we really, really went the extra mile to make it look as realistic as possible. From the shadowing that, to the actual chaga mushroom, everything you see here is one-to-one -one as you would see in any type of photo. And the cool thing about these ingredients is that they were also rendered. Um, we made them in AI. So from the coffee beans to the elf, I'm going to try to say this guys, elf theanine, to the chaga mushroom, to the cordyceps, to the lion's mane mushrooms, to the ashwagandha, we made everything in 3D. Not to say you can't find images online, but we wanted to create crisp images that were all uniform that we can use on the website. So after we had the packaging, after we had the aesthetic down and we understood the gradients, how we, re how we were gonna present the product, we then wanted to go and create the design. And I just wanna show this off because Murillo, who is our 3D designer, he always goes above and beyond and presents the product as best as possible. Here, he's even created one of these modern looking coffee cups with the steam coming off. And then here you could see a spoon with the powder. And this perfectly portrays what the product is. Because if you were to look at this, without that coffee cup, you don't quite understand. But when you see the cup of coffee with that steam, visually, it all makes sense. So after, after we had the wireframe locked and loaded, after we went through mid journey, and then we created those 3D renders, we then started with the design. Now you could see how the design works. We take our 3D renders, we implement them, and then we start with the styling. I'm gonna quickly go down just to kind of show you and again, a lot of this was inspired by space goods. So the customer had a very uh, specific vision. He wanted us to keep it modern, Gen Z, and focus on space goods because we believe you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Good design should not be reinventive. It should follow what works, especially when you're talking about conversion design. We say this to, to a lot to customers that we like to use what we know works. Whenever we design and deliver a landing page, we always follow up, we ask for the metrics, so it helps us understand better what works and what doesn't. And for everything that does work, we aggregate it. And whenever we have a new client, we then take those winning ingredients and we implement them. So this is the design. And you could see the consistency from the background waves to the mushrooms. And you could also see that in the packaging. We wanted it to be cohesive. We wanted from ad copy to landing page to when you actually got your product delivered, you wanted it all to be cohesive. So once we did that, we then went and developed it in Shopify. Now the client is in Poland, so you're probably not gonna be able to read this unless you're Polish, but this is what we built on Shopify. The customer is still uploading content. As you could tell, this will be the UGC section, but we're really happy with how it came out. It's super simple, it's visual, we did absolutely everything. And those are those ingredients that you found um, in, right here from the AI. And when you click on read more, oops, when you click on read more, let me go to the actual site, it flips and it'll give you more information about the ingredients. Here is the actual nutrition la uh, label. So again, we want it to be transparent, we wanted it to look beautiful, and we're very happy with how it played out. Now, this is another product that was created in AI, a woman holding the product. You could also see that here. Now, I want to focus on this product box because we did something really cool. And I know the language is different, so I'll give you more context. The customer wanted to give free gifts if they subscribed. And this is a smart way into not only increasing AOV, but also increasing the lifetime value of a customer by giving something for free in order for them to, in order for them to, to subscribe. So here is the one-time payment. You'll notice when you click on that one-time payment, you're not able to get these gifts. But if you click on that subscribe, those gifts now become available. And we're really happy with how that played out. It's total custom design. And as soon as you do the subscription, you click add to cart and you're on your way to checking out. As you could tell, some of the content the client needs to upload, but we're looking for next week to be launching this. And I'll show you what this looks on mobile because that's what we're also most happy about. On mobile, it's clean, it's visual, it's beautiful, it's interactive. 
you're going to have your UGC, the benefits, all the different features, how to use it, the ingredients, the nutrition label, and then finally, the ability to purchase. Now, when you look inside, the way we've developed it is we've made everything dynamic. You could change background colors, you could change text, you could change variants, you could change anything you see on this page. And the cool thing about it is that you can duplicate it. So if the customer comes out with a new product, they don't have to come back to us and order a page. All they have to do is duplicate this page and they can populate the information with the other product. I'm very happy with the team, very happy with how this product uh, landing page came out. Let me know if you have any questions or your thoughts in the comments. I will be back again shortly with another video on another project that we were very happy to work on. I thank you for your support. I thank you for your love. And again, I will be back. Have a great day.